Real special guest joining me now is Alexandra Silver. She is a Grammy nominated artist. She is a musical theater veteran of Broadway and the West End. She's an amazing author as well. And she's a Detroit girl. Alexandra, how are you? Oh, I'm so well under the circumstances <laughs> thriving. Yeah. So, Tell us about I mean, you're in New York right now. Um, can I you am. give us an idea of, gosh, of everyday life for you right now? This concept of New York as the city that never sleeps um, is, this, is a city in a state right now of imposed Sabbath and rest and um, and of course, people dealing with that in a myriad of different ways, and I think really taking on the um, the notion that staying home saves lives. You know, as an artist, though, this has got to be a hard moment as well. I feel like even online, we're trying to find our moments of of beauty right. and of joy. And as a performer, how are you dealing with that? Well, you know, I think the thing, first of all, of course, like the... The, the closing down of the theatrical communities across the country, but, you know, led by Broadway, of course, mm -hmm. here in New York, um, was, was a devastating reality check, I think, for the seriousness of this pandemic. And, you know, one of the things that you're absolutely sort of circling here is that performance, uh, by its very nature, um, it's its virtue and its service is that it occurs live and it, that it occurs in a in a community setting and you know that is um, a tradition that goes back to ancient Greece that you know you gather the community together to have a communal cathartic experience and right now we are barred from that and we're having a community experience but it's in isolation and I think it's it's very very unusual and very painful to not be able to share it touch each other, hold each other, and experience things in real time together. My role in that as a performer is to say, I am a performer, but I'm also a multifaceted artist that can create and provide art in other ways and serve in other ways, uh, use my language, raise my voice, use storytelling, um, in ways that doesn't necessarily occur live. And um, there are virtues in those art forms and services too. Yeah, you come back to Detroit and you've done um, groups with kids and you've, and you've helped them as they've found their storytelling voice through music and through art. And, um, you know, when, when kids dream of doing what you're doing and knowing that you came from Detroit and, and kind of what your, your path has been, what do you tell young performers who, who have that in them? Every person on this earth is endowed with gifts and endowed with a life force and a fire that hopefully um, inspires the question, why am I here and how may I serve? And when you think about using your gifts in terms of service, I think it changes the perspective of how you operate in the world. And I think that when it comes to speaking to young people, it's important to recognize that using your gifts in the most, uh, in, for the highest purpose possible is always going to lead you to right action. Very often in society, we're told to pursue success. And a lot of, we have a lot of conventional concepts of what success is. But truly, if I could offer anything from my experience, it's that success is not about what you do. It's about how you feel about what you do. And to pursue excellence often lands you in the middle of that kind of successful feeling. Now, um, we know that you're not going to sing in your apartment right now for neighbor's <laughs> sake and for, for all sorts of reasons, but um, you passed along a song to us. And, and I guess, um, how would you describe it to us? So I have selected a song that I really think um, reflects this time. It's called Lost in the Stars. It's the title song from the musical Lost in the Stars by Kurt Vile. And um, it's based on Cry the Beloved Country, the novel about uh, South African apartheid. Um, the song is sung by uh, an African priest when he is at his absolute lowest moment um, he's reflecting on his faith, he's reflecting on his place in the universe, and he's just looking up at the stars and wondering what comes next. And in his exploration and in his doubt, finds a kernel of faith. 
Um, and I just feel like the song really reflects where we are right now. And hopefully uh, in, a dark, in dark moments for anyone, we'll provide a little bit of light. Thank you. 